Today we're going to talk about what have you given up to make it? If your life has been the same from the time you decided to try to do this thing to now, you probably haven't given up enough. I just want to, you know, just keep it real with you. Today we're going to talk about some things I had to give up to make it and some things that you should be looking into. Some things, if you if you can't sit back and say I've given something up or my life has changed where I do less of X, Y, and Z, you probably ain't trying to make it as best as you think you are so today we're going to talk about some of that because you should be going through a little bit of change at home in the personal life in the friendship area you should be going through some change to make this happen but first we're going to roll some graphics let's do that ah what's going on everybody you are in the place to be let me start off uh, with a few things. First, if this is your first time on this channel, my name is Ty. I'm a former Army combat photographer. 2,862 confirmed kills with a cannon battery. The only photographer on the planet that got kills with a cannon. I'm joking. I don't have confirmed kills with a cannon battery. That would be dope, though, but it's not my thing. Um, I was talking about pictures, shutters, shutter counts, shutter counts, not kills. I'm sorry. Um, my Army friends are like, what? I wish. Uh, anyway, this channel is about turning your passion into your into your profit. It's where you it's where creatives come to learn business. If you want to learn how to do Photoshop, if you want to learn how to make your grandmama eyes look in the same direction at the same time, this ain't the place for it. This is the place you go to learn how to get that bag. Let's talk a little bit. Let's talk about some of the things you may be giving up if you're going to go and, and pursue this journey. And I'm going to say this again because I got to some people who have heard this know I cover this in like chapter one of the of the master course because I talk about your personal life and things that you may encounter when you decide to go in business like this. It is extremely important that you understand that your life will change when you take on this full time entrepreneurial journey alone. Your circle's gonna change, your pocket's gonna change, your life's gonna change. Things you value are going to change, right? I haven't watched TV and I don't know how long, not consistently. If I got a show, I'll try to catch it. I'll try to DVR it, I don't DVR it, I download it and all that. I will try to watch it in bits and pieces. My days, like, I'm gonna tell you, I haven't touched my Xbox in about three, four years. I'm gonna be honest with you, and I love video games. I love it. I love it, I love it. I just haven't been able to get on Call of Duty and get it in like I normally do because business has been more valuable. It ain't that I ain't had the time. It's just that when I sit down and I hold that controller, I'm thinking to myself, like, what am I doing? Is this helping me or is this hurting me? Is this just entertaining me or is it fulfilling? Is there something I love to do that's helping my business get to where I want to go? Let me look outside. I don't got enough cars. Let me look at my house. I'm out of square footage. Gosh, let me let me go check my bank account. Now nah, the decimal's not in the right place. So it's not enough commas. So I got to do what I got to do. It's just me. Whatever motivates you. If, if a kill streak motivates you, then it may motivate you to go do what you got to do. But for me, this is just, I want to be in a comfortable place. Do I got to make a decision? At what dollar amount do I really got to ponder this, the, the, the purchase? It should be something stupid. And if until I get to something stupid where I can be like, Psh, yeah, we'll take two of them houses. Yeah, so what you were saying about the game over here, until I get there, I'm still grinding. There are people like that that are around you that you have no idea. They may not be flashy or whatever, but it exists. So for me, I've given up a lot of things to chase my dreams. I've given up people because there are people who I don't bring around me. I still got love for them. They're still friends. They're still family. They're still cool. But when they started talking at nine to five, I'm stuck here, the world is against me, I'm the victim, we, it's so saturated, all this ignorance and this mentality, I don't keep myself around those people a lot because that starts to wear on you. And I don't keep victim mentalities around me a lot because yeah, so what? I'm in America, so what I started with this, so what I got a Detroit public school education, so what I'm black, so what I'm whatever, I'm, I'm still gonna get what I gotta get. I'm still gonna go after it and do it. And if you sit around a bunch of people who look at what they don't have, they're gonna always be in that situation. Nobody has been handed the perfect hand of cards. Nobody. I don't care how much money you think they got, what part of the country, world you think they grew up in. They may have better cards than you, but nobody has been handed everything perfectly. The difference is you're sitting in the back looking at what you don't have when you should be happy and grateful for what you do have and use that to get where you gotta go. You know, so you gotta save yourself. Nobody's coming. Cut down that tree, get the wood, build a boat and get out of there. Nobody's coming. So, and I, I wanna make sure that I push that to everybody, men, women, female, if you got a disability, if you, I don't care what it is, I feel you, I, you know, that is an issue. Um, but make enough money if you're about women rights, if you're about black rights, if you're about white rights, whatever you about, you can't change it by crying about it. You can change it by building a business, generating money, and then maybe putting some money into it. But crying about it 
and agreeing with everybody and posting about it does nothing. Go handle your business, grow your business, make the money you can make to invest in the changes you want to see in the world. Don't just be about it in your head. Who cares? So that's just me. And, and, and some people feel differently, but I felt like you got to go get it. If you're an entrepreneur, you're a go-getter, right? Excuses won't get you nowhere. Crying about what they won't give you won't get you nowhere. It's just something to talk about. It's just a lot of people want the opportunity given to them. Everything you need to go from rags to riches is in a book, on a video, in a $10 course, or it's available to you. I don't care how tall you are. I don't care how skinny or fat you are, male, female, black, white. I don't care what your ethnicity is. Where you are in this world, if you can watch this, you have internet access, and the information you need to get out of this situation is available to you. There's no more excuses. You're now free from thinking you have excuses. And a lot of times you are your own worst enemy. Most times, 90% of the times, you are your own worst enemy, period. So to fix that, you're gonna have to go talk to the guy in the mirror. The world don't owe you nothing. My mother used to say, the world don't owe you nothing. Get up, use what you got to go where you wanna go. Stop making excuses, just stop. The moment you stop, your life will change. Let's think about it like this, right? How do you feel that you don't get to enjoy the best that man has to offer? That don't bother you? You've never seen a car like, wow, that's a nice car. I want to enjoy the best man has to offer. I want to taste the best steak. I want to live in the best house. It has nothing to do with money and everything to do with freedom. I want to be free enough where I can, I can live my best life. There's no compromise in my life. I want to live a compromise free life. Is there a word for that? That's what I want to do. And I have to make the changes to do it. I have to understand that my environment or where I'm from or my generational curses or things that I'm taught or growing up listening to 20 hours of Tupac, I got to realize what it has done to me and what I need to do to pivot and change from that direction. You're going to have to take a step back and look around in your life and, and notice that you're okay with a level you shouldn't be okay with. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you like content like this, click the link on the screen and go over to flashfilmacademy.com. We have a membership that will give you access to 300 plus hours of content designed to help you grow your business. That's all we talk about. Click that link, start your trial. We even have premium courses, contracts, and templates all for the business side of this industry. You can go somewhere else to learn how to take pretty pictures, but when you're ready to get that bag, when you're ready to do this for a living, that's where Flash Film Academy comes into play. All right, see you in the next video.